Hello everyone, welcome to Talent Battle. In this video, we will solve TCS NQT specific previous year questions. So like, comment, subscribe and share our channel if you are looking more such content. If you are looking for detailed preparation, we have complete master class in which we will cover aptitude, coding, DSA, interview preparation, communication practice, company specific training, projects, latest technologies like full stack development, data science and many other things. For more details, connect with us and do subscribe. And let's now start the session, everybody. For more details, connect with us. Now, let's start the very first question, everybody. All right, let's solve this question. Five friends are sitting in a row, all facing south. All right. Rani sits immediate, left of, immediate right of Mani. Simi sits second to the left of Sanu. Jenny sits towards the left of Rani. Which of the following is correct? All right. Now, if you do observe here, the main point here is five friends sitting in a row are facing south this time. Basically, what you do, you basically arrange all the people facing towards the north, which you pay, uh, like, which you faces every time, right? If I'm not wrong. And then you arrange as per your right and as per your left. But this time, when they face south, for example, let's say this is you. Every time you face as per your direction, this is this is as per your direction, right and left. Now, if I say A is sitting right of B, you'll put B is here. A is sitting right means here. But now, when they face you people, your right will become their left because now they are facing towards you and you are left to become their right. Right, everybody? So this is one of the toughest questions that you can actually arrange. So if you arrange as per this arrangement, I could say this is definitely a difficult way to solve. Why? For example, I'll, let, I'll just let you arrange some of the directions at least. Rani sits immediate right of money. First of all, whom you'll fix, money you'll fix because Rani is depending upon money. When Rani sits immediate right of money, right, money is facing down. So what is money's right this time? Not your right, your left this is. Because when money faces down, money's right hand will be towards your left hand. So now you have to place immediate left, immediate right, right, which is your immediate left actually. I hope you understood the point. Now, Simi sits second to the left of Sanu. Okay, this is some other arrangement. So I cannot directly arrange here because we have multiple possibilities. So taking one more consideration, Simi sits second to the left of Sanu means Sanu you'll take here, but this time Sanu's left will be what everybody? Sanu's left will be your right actually, right? So first one, second one. So Simi should sit here because Sanu is facing downwards means Sanu, Sanu, Sanu's left will be uh, your right actually. So this arrangement will be a very, very hectic or very, very complex one. So where we have a very, very easy way to answer such questions. Now, remember, these are basically called as photographic questions. Right? Where people faces opposite to you direction. Now, what I'll do, I'll never ever take the people opposite to my direction. I'll basically arrange towards the same direction which I'm facing. Right, everybody? So that whatever your right is their right. And whatever your left is their left. Then, sir, how can I answer the question? Very simple. Once you are done with the arrangement, just reverse it completely. Reverse it completely by taking a mirror image. So whoever comes towards the left, right extreme will be left extreme in the mirror image. Hope you understood everybody. So that in that way, if you reverse it completely, people will be facing down of look. If you reverse the arrow, right, what will happen? It will be facing this direction. No, that's it simple. Understood now the strategy. So this is the strategy we'll be basically following, right? Now let's put the uh, arrangement into them, right? So now as per my arrangement, I'll do it as my, my right and my left. So you should also do the same. Rani sits immediate right of Manu, immediate right of money. R money is here. Immediate right means my own, my right. So that says over here. Got it, everybody? So this is the arrangement. Simi sits second to the left of Sanu. As of now, I don't know where is Simi and Sanu and where exactly is the second and the second left. So I'm just leaving it alone. Now, Jenny sits towards the left of Rani. Okay, left of Rani, here itself you should understand something. There is no gap between Rani and Mani because they have clearly said immediately next to Mani. Right, everybody? So there is no gap. 
So when we say Jenny is sitting left of Rani, left of Rani means this side only. So can I say immediate left? No, it is not possible. So somewhere over here, I can say that. Right. So the very first possibility, possibility number one of Jenny being left of Rani is this one. But if I take this one, everybody, there are some cases where the other two must sit. Now, the other two can have either possibility one or zero, possibility two, Jenny, Money, Rani, possibility two is possibility two is one over here, the other over here. Now, possibility three, Jenny, Money, Rani, and then over here, over here. Yes or no, everybody. Correct or not. Or possibility four, Jenny, one person over here, Money, Rani, and the other person over here. So these are the different four possibilities that are possible for semi and summary if I'm not wrong. But if you do observe everybody, if I take left of uh, like a Ravi, uh, Jenny being left of Rani over the fixed position like this, I'll have multiple. Now let's add in Simi and Sanu. Simi sits second to the left of Sanu. Okay. If I take Sanu here, Simi should be second to the left, but only first left is there everybody. So this arrangement is not at all possible. Now, so if I take some Sanu over here, is Simi sitting second to the left? Second to the left means it should be over here, second left. But this position is not possible. Now, if I take seen, uh, like uh, Sanu over here, right? This is again the first left, which is semi sitting. So this is first left. So this is also not possible. If I take Sanu over here, this will be third left, first, second, third. So this is third left, which is again not possible. So that says Jenny can never be next to money, actually, if you do observe or even here, then what could be the correct possibility? Very simple. If I take, if I take money over here and Rani over here, the last two questions, if I place Jenny, which you haven't checked the only one, everybody, what we can say now, what we can say now, we can say if I take Sun over here, right? Simi sits second to the left, first to the left, second left. So this is a perfect arrangement that you could do actually. So Simi sits second to the left of Sun. So there you go, everybody, you have got the arrangement. Now, but is this arrangement the correct one? No, these people are facing the same direction as like you. So when I reverse it, everybody, the reverse will be Ravi over here, Mani over here, Sun over here, Jenny over here, and then Simi over here. So these people are facing now you people, right, everybody? Now, if you do observe, Rani sits immediate right of money. Rani is sitting immediate right because money's direction will be, money's right will be this side now, immediate right. Now, Simi sits second to the left of Sanu. Simi sits second to the left. Now, your right is their left, right, everybody? So first one, second one, that is also possible. And then Jen, Jenny sits left of Rani. Jenny sits left of Rani. There you go. This side, Jenny is, Jen, uh, Jenny is left of Rani. So this is the perfect arrangement, everybody. Got it? Now, so which of the following is correct? Jenny is sitting second to the right of money. Now, second to the right means now it is asked for you. It is asked for you. So second to the right, as, in, as per the uh, people who are facing you. So second to the right of money. First one. And then second one. So Jenny is sitting second to the right of money. Yes, it is possible. No, no, it, here it is left now. So this is not possible. Simi and Sanu are sitting at the end. Is Simi and Sanu are sitting at the end? Oh, no, only Simi is sitting at the end, but Sanu not. Only one person between Jenny and the money. Only one person between Jenny and money. Obviously correct. Rani is sitting left of Simi. Rani is sitting left of Simi, no, Rani is sitting to the right of Simi because this side, this is Simi's right, everybody. So this is not a correct answer. That says what is the only correct answer? Option C. See how simple this is now, everybody. If you go with this arrangement, definitely it will be a complex. So try not to go with that. And that's why always go with the, the general arrangement and then take the reverse one. Right, everybody. Moving on to the next one. The sides of rectangular park are 36 meters, 105 meters, and 111 meters. The cost in INR, Indian rupees, of leveling the park at 8.5 per meter square is how much? Fine. Given 
the sides of a rectangular part it is not an equivalent triangle definitely like uh, all are different sides so 36 105 and 111 now how can i find uh, the cost of leveling the park look before finding the cost of leveling the park i should find the area of the park then only i can find for 1 meter square if it is 8.5 rupees then for how many meter square meter square means area only everybody right then for how many meter square this would be total Total is how much? That is what I have to find. So I have to find the area first before finding the cost. Now, how can you find the area with the sides? Of? You should have an idea by finding the perimeter. What is perimeter? Perimeter is nothing but A plus B plus C by 2. Semi-perimeter. S is nothing but the semi-perimeter. That everybody perimeter is nothing but the whole everybody. But you will find yes. Yes means the semi-perimeter. Why we are finding semi-perimeter? Because we don't have any formula with the perimeter, right? But we do have a formula with semi-perimeter of finding the area of a triangle. How is that? Now, area of any triangle with sides given, we can use the square root of S of S minus A into S minus B into S minus C. So this is the formula. Terence formula, it is called as basically, that we use to answer these questions. So square root of S is how much? 36 plus 105 plus 11 by 2 is going to give you how much everybody? If you check it, that will give you 126 uh, meters. Right? 126 meters it is. So 126 into 126 minus 36, 126 minus 105 and 126 minus uh, how much is this? 111. So that will give you uh, the expression as look, 126 Basically, we don't have any perfect square, right? It is not a perfect square. So what you have to do, you have to make it into square. So that will be very easy for you. Now, so can I write 126 as, what we can say, everybody? 21 threes, let us check. Threes and uh, six, 63. 63 twos, uh, yeah, 63 twos is 126. So I can write 21 as 3 into 7 into uh, 3, 7, 21, and then into 3, and then into 2. So this is totally 126, right? Now, into 126 minus 36 is 90, if I'm not wrong. So 90, breaking it to primes, 3 into 30. 3 into 30 means 3 into 3 into 10. 10 means 2 into 5. So that's case, that says 3 square into 2 into 5, everybody. So this is 126 minus 30, which is 90, into, now next part. 126 minus 105. 126 minus 105 will give you how much, everybody? 1 and then uh, uh, 2, if I'm not wrong, 21. So 21, we can write as 3 into 7 into 126 minus 111 will give me uh, like uh, 1 and 5, 15. 15 means 3 into 5. Right? Now, so let's check it, everybody. How many 3s are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 6. So 3 power 6 means, can I write 3 square into 3 square into 3 square, everybody? Yeah, that is so simple enough. And then how many 2s? 1, 2. So into 2 square. Into how many 5s? 2 5s. Right? Into how many 7s? 2 7s. 1 and 1 more 7. So 2 7s. So that will give me 3 into 3 into 3 into 2 into 5 into 7. Because all the squares and the square root gets cancelled. Right, so that will give me 3 cube, which is 27. 27 twos is 54. 54 fives is going to give me 250 plus 20, 270. 270 into 7 is going to give me 1400. Uh, 490. Sorry, 1449 is going to give me 189. Yeah, 1890. So this is 1890 meter square. Got it, everybody? So, the total area of the entire triangle is 1890 meter square. So, if one for 1 meter square, if it is 8.5 rupees, for 1890 meter square, how much is it? Cross multiplication. So, how much means? The answer will be 1890 into 8.5, which will be how much, everybody? Definitely, the answer should end with the 5 because this point and this 0 gets cancelled. 189 into 85, going to give you how much? The number should end with definitely 5 because 9 5s are 8 5. So option A and B are 1. And 
if you have any use of calculator then definitely that should give you how much everybody option d as the answer right hope you understood everybody so that's how we can answer particularly these questions got it yeah so hope you all enjoyed this uh, solutions everybody and the shortcuts so thank you for watching this video